Right, we touch the lovely ring of light and it goes, Lo, my son. Nah, I didn't say anything like that. We just get some weird demons. Although, Lady Thick Kiko. Can she be a lady now? We're actually going to uh, anal rodeo. I think we can now be a, a lady. Please don't. Please don't slay me, YouTube. I said anal. Wee. I mean, that would probably hurt. I mean, we're in heavy armor as well. I mean, your arms are pretty ache after that. I mean, I guess originally there was a nice mountain path that took you up there, but since everything's a bit balked. Oh, everything's sunny. Very dramatic. Lovely. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to splat as many bosses today. I don't think we're actually going to splat another boss this set. But I'll, uh, I will do my best to uh, attempt to splat and do some splatting, so we'll see. Anywho, isn't that exciting? We're now in uh, the lost ancient city of Anal Rodeo. Now, Anal Londo is actually a pretty small, a deceptively small area. It looks massive. It looks awesome. It is awesome, but it's not that big. And since we're so thick, we don't need to worry about those sort of things. Uh, this guy is a little bit of a nuisance, though. So we're actually just going to ignore him. Bye. Bye. They're not worth the effort, trust me. There's two guys behind me as well, and they're also not worth the effort. We can do stuff like pyromancy them, should we want to. But we don't yet. We'll come back later and just crush them. They have some goodies. The goodies are kind of pointless. We, however, want what's here, which is the bonfire. Yeah, boy. Uh, we get a few levels up then. Vitality, yes. Endurance, yes. Strength, definitely. Boom. Level 50, thanks. This lady's nice. We'll talk to her once. Hi. I know. Welcome to the lost city of Anorlando. Thanks. Chosen undead. If you seek Lord Grin's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit you. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Is a revelation sort of with massive boobs? Because if it is, revelation's ahead. Cool. Bonfire useful gives us ten because it's already kindled. Because it has a keeper. Any of the any of the bonfires with a fire keeper give you ten, such as the one in Filing Shrine, and the Chaos Bonfire, and the Anal Rodeo Bonfire. All of these things are lovely. Cool. It shouldn't be too much hassle to get to where we want to go. However, the chance of us being invaded by another douche nozzle is pretty high. Now, regular invaders fine. Douche nozzle invaders, what they like to do is waste your time as well as your uh, as well as your. Uh, the sort of, well, souls. Right, these guys are pretty crap. We're just gonna walk around him and beat him up. Boop! Oh, that was rude. Okay. He's not particularly dangerous. Occasionally he does commit suicide, which is always funny. What we do, we just wait for a little bit. Hey! Eventually he gets bored. Seriously, stop that. Stop it. Okay, you deserve that. Every time we hit him, we staggers because of how hard we hit him. And I've got massive thick poise, so... You doing that does basically nothing. Bye. I said bye. Oh, you being such, such a little bitch. Let me stab you. Thanks. Anyway, he dead. Oh, gargoyle helm. Let me never wear that. And around here we have goodies. I believe we have a treasure chest. Everybody likes treasure chests. Everybody loves treasure. Especially treasure chests that don't eat you. Those are my favorites. Yoink. Demon Titanite. Now, we could use that on our Grave Lord Nito sword, and it would be slightly better at this point in the game, probably, but not to the point where I'm particularly worried about it. Cool. We need to go up this way. For relevant to where we're going, that's where we were. Uh, we're climbing up, and that's where we want to be, but we can't go there yet. So we climb up on this really awkward beam. This is one of the only parts of the game where I think it's a bit weird to try and work out where to go until you sort of look properly, but hey. And then here we go here, which is great. It's full of these dudes who we can probably one-shot. Yeah, they're all dicks. One, I think, will appear behind me. Don't really care about that, though, because we just go, excuse me! Excuse me! There we go, we just do that. They also love this, they have this habit of dropping lots of daggers, which is great, because, yeah, because I frequently don't buy daggers, because I'm, I forget, plus lazy, plus mostly forget, and these guys drop them, and when we walk through here, we get loads of free ones, which will help me pull some baddies later. But I don't want to pull them. I pull them one by one. Isn't that nice? Now, the key here is not to fall off and die. That's very important. So make sure we don't do that. To do so, we do this carefully. We do not lock on because that's a way to get yourself killed. The other option is using combustion. 
but uh, that's only if you're careless. And I'm very careless, but I'm also mad and crazy, so we don't really worry about doing anything sensible. Like changing camera angles. Whoosh, dead. It can be a little bit awkward when they roll into you and that pushes you off. That makes me sad. I don't want to be sad, so let's hope that doesn't happen. I love this, by the way. So, the gods of Anor Londo, or as Anal Rodeo as we give it its proper title, uh, obviously are worshipped here. Now, can you point out a defining feature on this statue they've managed to capture in all its essence? No? I'll give you a clue. She hasn't got any socks on. Yeah, there you go. No socks. Weird, right? Of all the things they noticed is she's barefooted. Honestly. We can drop uh, one thing beneath us. No point. No need. Again, I'm not I'm not doing this let's play in the same way I did the first one. I'm not like exploring every nook and cranny and showing you off everything. I'm just showing you a thing I think will be cool. Uh, and what I think will be cool is doing this. There is a secret area around here, sort of. Uh, we're we're going to be going there later to beat up somebody, but we're not doing that now. Instead, we are turning this massively cool tower downwards. Yeah! It is pretty cool. Love it. And for our trouble, we get another one of these guys! And they're just as easy as last time. Hey, these guys! They have this lovely habit of completely mucking up there. Oops. Wow, that was that was me being a bad. Sorry! You don't do the sweep. I'm gonna I'm gonna mangle you now because you're stunned. Oh hey, what's it like being stunned all the time? Fuck. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're gonna fall out if you're gonna keep showing me up. Okay, I'm dead. Okay, no, I'm thick. I forget. I forget how thick I am. So we're just gonna glug. It really doesn't matter if he gets that free shot on us because we're so thick, we just drink through it. They're really weird. Sometimes they let me stun lock them to death, and other times they do this, which is a little bit annoying. There we go. It's dead now. Cool. And because we basically unlocked the shortcut, i.e. we haven't got to go through the chandelier bit again. Yay! Oh, uh, we will be going into the uh, chandelier place later. Not now. Don't need to. But Helloina, here you ask. All those goodies you've left behind. I know. But don't worry. We've got plenty of time to get everything off camera when you won't see. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We'll get, we'll get back and get it. Okay, this guy. This guy's a douche. Guess what makes this guy less of a douche? Set him on fire. Whoosh. Hey, douchey guy. Guess what? Being on fire is bad for you. And then we just finish him off like this. Whoop. See that guy to my left? He's also a dick. But he's a really easy to ignore dick. We just run past him. Now, I'm genuinely surprised I haven't been invaded yet. The invasion timer might still be up. I don't know. Anyway, say hi to these guys. They're weird. I think you can parry them. I always forget. It doesn't matter because you squish them, like so. I said you squish them, like so. And then you follow up with one of these. They literally can't do anything. You just hit me through the wall. You are a lame monster. And I'm going to squish you for it. Like, seriously, they, they can't do anything if you do this. Bam. The only thing you got to be careful of is if they get the leaping strike, which this one didn't. That's that one. Because it's a little bit fiddly, and it can sometimes lead to your death. Prematurely or, you know, smugly. Whichever, it doesn't really matter. It's bad for you. Don't die. Now... We preferably want to pull one of them at a time, which we failed to do. So what we're going to do instead is lure them, like so, and then... Oh, one just suicided. Okay, well, that one's stuck. Okay, never mind. Squish. Okay, well, I missed. Okay, it's hilarious that he decided to, like, you know, just give up, do himself in, because this makes this next bit a little bit easier. Thanks. Right, I'm going to drink. This is the famous Anal Rodeo Archer range, and they absolutely love shooting you. Look at this. Look at these guys. They're like, oh, I'm going to shoot you, going to shoot you, going to shoot you. That's really inconvenient. So, preferably, you don't want to be anywhere near these guys when they're shooting these arrows. Because as you can see, they're really, really accurate and difficult to dodge. Splat. They do quite a bit of damage to the point where, as you can see there, you don't really want to do that. I'm going to pass that off as I did that intention to show you the damage. That, not that I fucked it up. So, let's carry on. The only one we need to worry about is the one on the right. The one on the left is kind of inconsequential after about halfway. So what we do, we go one, two, three, and then we move. As long as we're running, they pretty much can't hit us. We run all the way up here. <laughs> Such a hassle. And what we do, we come here. 
I got shot in the back. That's really unfortunate. And that's it. We're done. He should die instantly. That is how you do the silver archers really easily. I mean, I could go back and get that guy. Also, that thing hit me through the wall. That's inconvenient. I could go back and get that guy, but there's real no need. We're just going to carry on. Because I really don't want to be invaded this very last bit and have that harsh my groove. And my groove would be severely harsh if I got invaded there. You have no idea. I'd be like, I'd be like my XCOM stream last night. That was very salty. So first things first. We light the... I'm being invaded. You fucking kidding me. Ah! Okay, that's really bad. Mm, I... Alright, here's what it is. Howdy! Okay, we're gonna have to toast him. He's gonna try and strike me. Yep. I'm gonna try and get him to do an overhead swing on me. Okay, I'm gonna plug. Right. I need to get me at full health, because if I fuck this up, I'll immediately die. He's probably gonna try and drink. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Shit. Damn. I could have got him if I didn't go for the fireball, actually. Do I want to indict this invader? Nah. It's fine. I was giant dad. Boo. Oh, no. Well, it wasn't giant mask. That was something else. Unfortunately. Yep. That's what that means. So, guess what? I gotta do that again. So, I'm gonna cut to the cool bit where I make it all the way through. So, hopefully you'll see me shortly. And if not, and I haven't got any humanity, you'll, what will happen is you'll realise that I fucked it up and I died along the way. And I'll try and pass it off as something cool. Like, yeah, like, I was, like, parrying, like, six dudes in a row. And all the same time, this huge chick with these really massive, massive bare feet was really distracting me. But, uh, you know, it, was, it happened and I'm dead. But, nah, it's just because I fell off. Anyway, you'll see me shortly, all right? I'll, 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 I'll stick it back onto the archers because it's more interesting. Heroic, thick hero returns. Heroin, I should say, actually. Bravely traversing the archers again. Even though one time is one time too many. Ooh, careful. Yeah, I know that feel, bro. Right, anyway. Lucky I didn't lose much. <laughs> anyway, we're here now, finally. Uh, I, this took way more time than I was expecting, so I'm actually going to have to cut what I wanted to do short, because, you know, yay! Thanks, invaders! But let's quickly talk to Slayer. That's a bloodstone. Let's talk to Slayer. Oh, there you are. Hey. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Oh, very much so. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. Of course not. You left me with quite the impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Yeah, no problem. No, that's a bloodstain, dragon. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I think you have feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> oh, Slayer. You're a good man. Right, anyway. In we go. Bonfire lit, and we can rest. Fantastic. There's a few things we can do quickly that we're going to do. We're not going to be able to go as far as I wanted to, but we can punish some of these friggin' silver knights for being jackasses. This area is basically full of these silver knights. They're not particularly dangerous. Uh, their movesets are pretty obvious. Uh, they're really easy to parry. They end up eating attacks like this all the friggin' time. There's also a really easy way to do a shortcut here too, which is pretty fun. Ooh, we got the silver knight straight sword. That's reasonably rare. Uh, we can go in here. This is a place full of goodies. Everybody knows this one because it's obvious. You can also hear a mimic breathing down there. That should give you a clue of uh, something that lurks 
in the darkness. I never remember which one it is. It's probably the one with the sign in front of it. Let's test. It's this one. You can actually see them breathing, by the way. So if you're ever not sure, just look at the chest. This is going to try and sneak towards me. It misses because the mimics are bad and immediately dies. Thanks. I'll take the occult club. I need that later to make a divine club to make Rave Lord Nito much easier. Well, I say easy. It's not particularly difficult to begin with, but even easier than he normally is. And this is where Havel gets all his gear from. There's like a million chests to get all this stuff. Havel's helm, Havel's armor. Havel's crotch pad. Sweet. There we go. Freebies. Now we leave. I don't know why they lock Havel's stuff down here in the dark. Maybe they don't like him. Maybe they think he's a dick. Maybe they were like, wow, dude, you got like parried 30 times in a row. What kind of special night are you? Wah, wah. So, for our pleasure, we have two, count them, two mimics up here as well. And Orlando's keep, it's full of mimics. I don't know why. Maybe they just hate fun. One. Two. Back off. He does the little thing. And then learn forward. Boop. One dead mimic. He gives you like a coin. Yeah, five silver coins. Thanks, dude. Don't don't spend them all at once, I hear you say. One. Two. Back off. So he does the little thing with the hand. Three. And who said mimics were... Easy. Or something. I don't know. Now, we got some cool rooms ahead of us. Uh, there's this stick. Yeah, don't care. Now, stop that. So we're going to kill this guy instantly for being a prick. All these guys deserve to get parried. Brutally. And savagely. Mainly to get pay me for all those souls I lost. Uh, this one doesn't open the side. It gets this way. You basically work your way around the top. Uh, there is no one in this particular room. Look, they've covered up her feet this time. Boobs. And you think, this room looks nice. Hey, look, I spy you. Don't try it with me, sunshine. That's how you get a riposte to the balls. Thick Kiko's angry. She currently looks like this. I'd be angry if I looked like this. Ah! So we don't want to be doing that, do we? No. No, we don't. We don't want to look like this. We do not. So we need we need some uh, we need that to be fixed. You, howdy. Oops. Oops. First time. GG. I forget. I thought there were three up here. Maybe I'm matching things. Stop that. Stop that. Never mind. Doesn't matter if there's three or three dozen. They're all dead. The next room can be a smidgen tricky. That's why we have our friends from the cathedral to thank. Thank you, friends from the cathedral. We love you dearly for giving us all these throwing knives. We like throwing knives. Oh, yes, we do. It's our buddy. Hey, dude. Hmm. Hmm. What's the problem? Do you have a predicament? Ah, you again. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the silver knight? Is the fate of vanguard like you and I? I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. Don't worry, we don't need to think of something because we'll pick this. Now luckily they don't tend to all aggro at once. So what we want to do is do this in the doorway. Because we do not want Hey! Scumbag. We do not want our friend behind us to get accidentally hit, preferably. Von Silver Knight, and then Two silver knights. Whoops. I always think they're going to do the lunging attack and they don't. That's totally my bad. Well, he's still dead. And he has a knife in him. Awkward. Seriously, it looks like they're going to do the lunge, doesn't it? It looks like you're going to do a lunge. Uh oh. Uh oh. That looks like a drinking time to me. Sorry. I'm really rusty at that. That's 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 awkward. Anyway, they're all dead now. And he drops another silver knight sword, which I can't do anything with. Hooray. Look, sort the problem. Hmm. Those spots on your mind, friend? Wait. You defeated those monsters. I did! Fantastic. I'm saved. This knight of Catalina hereby commends you. Take this. As a token of my gratitude. 
Thanks. But be warned. Gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. Never. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that's his next part of his quest done, which is lovely. As uh, a chest near, this one doesn't eat you. Oh look, there's the uh, one of the giant dudes. Reminds me of the boss from Demon Souls. That's a good game. And we've decided to come full circle. Isn't that nice? Guess what? We're gonna go back upstairs again. I just opened up a shortcut. There's no real point in doing that because we're not probably not gonna come back here unless I really fancy some more parrying lessons, which I might do between sets. Anyway. What we're actually supposed to do is go down this way. And this way has more silver knights. Woohoo! I hear you say. I'm actually going to drink. Make sure I'm up to full. Because I'm probably going to kindle the bonfire with all that uh, humanity I've got. <laughs> okay. Shortcut time. Shortcut time. Everybody loves a good shortcut time. And we've made it to the bonfire. But there's only two knights left. There's this stabby spear one, which can be a little bit awkward. Oh, wait, did I mean awkward? I meant dead. Very dead. With the powers of being not here. Like this guy, you had the powers of not being here. Oh! How fortunate. Cool. And the Silver Knight armor is now ours, which looks cool, but we're not going to use. Thanks. And we open up the shortcut. Woohoo! And that is it. There is a thing upstairs we could probably murder. Oh, should we go and murder it? Why not, I hear you say. Bro, Halloween, stop making such long bloody sets. Sorry, sorry. It wasn't intentional to make all these this long, but, you know, it's easier to do Dark Souls in big chunks. Anyway, inside this room is one of these dicks. In which case, we just beat him up. He's like the same as always, but just has a shitload more health. But they also hit a bit harder. We can sort of stun him a little bit. This is bad, we're going to get hurt here. No, we're okay. Go. He's gonna do a long swing. Or if he does a jump up in the air, we just step back a little bit. There we go. Bonk. Oh, scammed. This is actually a pretty easy way to heal, because what you do, you just wait for them to do a long strike like so. And you heal up there. No problem. And then block again when he gets a bit aggy. Oh, that's fine. Stunned him. I don't think you can actually burn him. I don't think it does a lot of damage. No, it does a reasonable amount of damage. There we go. Uh, that did more damage than I was expecting. I always kill this guy, even if I don't need the Demon Titanite, because he just kind of annoys me with his heavy breathing. It's like being a Skype call with a mouth breather. Stop that. Or a Discord call. Wait, sorry. My age is showing. And that's it. I want to say thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. Next time, Biggie and Smalls and, uh, uh, you know, big boobs. Just that's your thing. <laughs> As if. Huh. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time.